Hello, my desktop publishing students. Now, this is part two of the 70 Arbor Day 1 assignment. And we left off here. I just had put on the title, and I filled it and used a color. And now we've got to continue on. So first of all, it asked us to put a chart fill here. So I'm going to right click and, whoa, hold on here. I'm going to get my chart area. Okay, I've got format chart area here, so I've got it selected. All right, so I can go to solid. No, I want to go to picture fill. I want now, it gave me the same pictures I had the last time, but I don't want that. So I want to go to file and I want to take this picture. Insert. All right, so there I've got the picture. And notice that the plot area hasn't got anything in it right now. So I'm going to go to plot area and let's put a mm, solid fill or a gradient fill. Maybe try gradient. And let's change the transparency for sure. So let's um, see if we can get it light or lighter. Why is my transparency not changing? Oh, it is, but slowly. See, that should have went to 100% transparent, and it didn't. That's too heavy. Okay, I'm going to go back to my solid fill and see if I can get transparency working there. Yes, I can. Okay, so I'm going to go with um, there. Just now I need a little bit more there. Okay, so we've got our um, bars there. We've got our transparency in the background. And if you want to choose a different color, a better color, that's okay with me. And now let's get these labels and let's choose a fill for the labels. And I'm going to go with a solid fill again, but I want to choose maybe something lighter. What happens if I get a light green? Okay, there, that's better, I think. Or is this green better? Hard to read the text. Okay, so I'm going to go to, uh, if I maybe make the text really dark green, and I'm going to make it bold, and I'm going to make it up to size 12. Okay, all right, that seems a little bit more readable, but I want that solid fill to go one shade lighter. There, I think that's better. All right, so now I've put that so those are readable. Now, we haven't got um, a category axis on here. We want to see um, the numbers. So hold on here. Yes, we have a category axis. I just couldn't see it here. See the numbers here too? So click on that and select it. Now let's go to a solid fill and let's put something on the back side. And that's not bad. And let's make, I made the other one size 12. So let's make them size 12 so that we can see the numbers of the trees quite easily. In fact, I might say, let's go, yeah, I went to 14. There's 16. I think we'll go with 16. I'm okay with that and put bold and let's go to the um, the dark green which we've got that's good all right so we've got the category axis done click on your spreadsheet and go control s to save now we want to display the um, primary verticals okay so we want to be on the chart all right and we want to go to design and we want to go to the grid lines and we want the primary major vertical. Okay, the primary major vertical are on there. So we want the primary minor vertical, the minor vertical. All right, so now we want to change those um, grid lines. So we want to make sure I'm going to go back here to format. And I'm going to say that I want the um, vertical category axis, the major grid lines. Okay, so now on the major grid lines, they're gray. So I'm going to go and choose green. Oh, that's going to be tough to read. I think I better choose maybe, well, I'll try the dark green. Okay, you can see the dark green, and I might have to put my transparency up more. All right, so I've got the major grid lines, and now I want to go to the minors. 
Okay, now the minors, I'm going to make them dashed. I'll choose maybe orange. Okay, maybe not that deep. There, that's better. And I'm just going to make them dashed. Let's see how, yeah, let's make them dashed. All right, I think I have to go back to the plot area and I want to change my transparency. I want it to be a little bit thicker. I want to kind of, I guess, the, is that still readable? Anyways, we'll call it that it is readable. And anything else that I have to do? I think what's bugging me is this blue bar. I don't like the color of that blue bar. So let's go to solid fill. And I'm going to try for green bars. Oh, that looks a lot better. Okay, so I'm better happy with that. And uh, we've got the trees down here. And we've got the names here. And that's everything that we wanted to put on it. Okay, so that's good. Let's click on your spreadsheet and save that. And now we need to go to Word. So we're going to go to Word. All right. And we are in Word. And it told you, and again, you've got to be careful. Now, this time, I just want to use the same memo that you had before. Because we just fixed it. We adjusted it. Everything was good. So why should I redo another one? All right. So I want you to go to File. I want you to go to Open. And now, yours should be right up near the top um, that you saved on your 69 carpet sales memo. It should be right there. But in case it isn't, I'll go over it, okay? So we'll go to Browse. We're going to go to your U Drive. And you're going to go to Desktop Publishing. You're going to go to Charts. All right, so now, there's the memo that we did. Okay, you've got your name on it and everything. We're going to open that, okay, the one that we just finished. So now, all right, so now you see uh, John Bradford, Lee Mansell. So you've got your name in here. Everything is the same, except that we have to change the subject line, okay? So we want to do that, and then we'll change the charts out at the same time. So here... I want to put in Arbor Day. And before we go any further, I want you to go File, Save As. File, Save As. And now go to your folder, your U Drive. And this time, it's not the carpet sales memo. It is going to be 70. So put in 70, Arbor Day. No, tree planting memo. Okay, so 70, tree planting memo. Tree planting memo. Oh, and I already had memo there. Okay, I can take that out. All right, so I got 70, tree planting memo. That's what it's called in your name and date. All right, save it. So this is mine now. All right, so now we have, I've put together several charts to help you improve our inventory. So let's be, we can put the text in after. Let's do your charts. So click on this chart. We don't want it. Okay, so delete it. And then come down here and click on this chart and we don't want it. Delete it. All right, so now I'm going to Put my cursor here because that's where I want it to be. I'm going to go back to Excel and I want to get the first chart here. So let me go over here and I want to get this chart. So I'm going to go Control C to copy it. And I want to go to Word now and I'm in Word here. Oh no, I'm not. I want to be in the right one. Here's where I want to be. All right. And I have my cursor right there where I want it to go. And I'm going to go to Paste, Paste Special. And we want Microsoft Excel Chart Object. Paste the link and say OK. And as you know, it'll come in really large. So size it down 
so that it fits. Now, we could make it a little bit larger. And remember to move it. We did Control L for left, Control R for right, and Control E for center. So there's our Arbor Day trees planted by community. So that's what we wanted there. All right, and now save your work. Go Control S to save. And now we're going to go back to Excel. I lost my video timing there, so I might have missed a word here. So we were in Word. Okay, wait, I want to be on Word. And we were here. And I said to you, size it and then center it, Control E. Control L for left, Control R for right. And then once we saved it, I said go back to Excel. And I said we're going to click on the second chart, which we did. We're going to go Control C and we're going to go to Word. And here we are. And now we're going to scroll down and put our cursor here. This is where we want it. We want to go to Paste and we want to go to Paste Special and we want to say Microsoft Excel Chart Object and Paste the link. Make sure you do that. Paste the link. All right, and it comes in huge, as you know, and we are going to size it down. Okay, that's pretty large, but we can possibly get away with it. All right, so now let's take a look. Save your work, and let's go to View, and let's go to Multiple Pages. All right, so there you see your memo, and if you decide that you want to make your chart a little bit bigger, that's fine too. This one looks like it's pretty big already. All right, so that's all that we want to do there. And I've got to check my time. Okay, I've got three minutes left on this video. Now, take a look what I did. Here's the first para that I gave, paragraph that I gave you on the sales memo, the carpet sales, remember? I have put together several charts to help you improve our inventory. Here's a chart comparing the sales of various carpet types during the four weeks in June. Now, for this one about the trees, I let you use the same type of wording. I have put together several charts to illustrate the success of Arbor Day tree planting. Here is a chart that displays the trees planted by each community on Arbor Day. And I do expect you to be able to write a sentence like that. All right, so I'm going to take this out. Okay, because we're going to put the new one in. All right, so I put together several charts to illustrate the success of Arbor Day tree planting. Here is a chart that displays the trees planted by each community on Arbor Day. And you see your title, Arbor Day, Trees Planted by Community. Then you come down and you, I wrote on the last one, this chart helps you to compare total June sales by carpet type. So I'm going to take that out because that's not applicable now. And I wrote, this chart illustrates the trees planted by type on Arbor Day. Arbor Day, trees planted by type. So you can look at the type of the tree and see how many trees were planted. And the last paragraph is the same. So on your test, yes, you do have to know how to do charts and to paste them with a link into a memo. But you've got your memo. All you have to do is change the wording to make sure it reflects what your chart is telling you. All right, that's the end of that. So I'm going to stop here and um, that's your last one. And now you are ready to do your test. So make sure you see me.